Following his disastrous book signing incident, Anthony Cumia has gotten Amazon to stop accepting reviews for his book. So I figured, I since no one can no longer leave a review, I go read some of the reviews left for his book. Now, I'm not going to read every single one of them, but I also, if people like that, I'll read some of those. So, start with this first one by Eric. Don't pay attention to the haters. Started the book as soon as it was downloaded from my pre-order and couldn't put it down. Amazing. Shocked to find the negative reviews from people who obviously never read it. Eric, your last name Nagel, your fucking hoagie boy. <laughs> Great book about free Hey, <laughs> Wait, Sue would be proud. I don't like this book because it leaves out his pedophilia, racism, abuse of the mentally challenged and women, his love of Trinity Cock, and his lust for his cousin. Other than that, solid read. Actually, that's not true. I forgot to mention that the grammar and word choice is equivalent to that of a third grader. I hope there is an audio book, but Ant will probably be dead in the next six months. But if you insist on buying this overpriced garbage, at least try and make it to his book signing, so he has at least one person in attendance. Toodles. <laughs> that was by a random stranger, by the way. This guy just put butt plug. <laughs> he stinks and I don't like him. Oh, this guy just says, good book. I'm eating, <laughs> I'm eating grapes while I'm reading this. Great book for old and new fans. Ignore the fake reviews and keep it light. Damn, a lot of people complaining about fake reviews. Yeah, a lot of these are positive. Show 10 more. <laughs> Indictment story of starting from the bottom and eventually coming up on top. I've been listening to Anthony since I was in my early teens. I listened on every day he was fired. I've spent 20 years listening to this guy. That said, I had no idea of his backstory or any of the behind-the-scenes debauchery that went on. This book is a memoir of sorts, and it flows together quite well. I don't typically read books. This one, I completed reading in just under six hours. Well, because it's so fucking short. <laughs> Starting from the very bottom to the top, every kid that doesn't have a career choice in mind or is faltering to find themselves needs to read this book. Ugh, kissing. This why not an enjoyable read. Read this book cover to cover in three hours, which sounds shocking, but is barely thicker than a hard pressed grilled cheese. <laughs> Some of the most self aggrandizing delusional drivel I've ever read will be selling my copy too embarrassing to keep this on my bookshelf. This guy liked it. This guy said hilarious. Great book. This isn't a book. It's more of a pamphlet. Anthony, you should have just charged five bucks. Where's my rebate? <laughs> so, I, like, I don't get why reading through these, why they stopped the reviews. I mean, there are only a couple of shitty ones. Most of them are like, I like it. So, hey, wait. This guy bit me. He went arc. <laughs> Only for hardcore fans, book is written with spelling errors and grammatical mistakes. Anthony takes no responsibility for his own actions and constantly bites the hand that fed him. Quite literally. Do not go lightly into purchasing this book. Two stars. <laughs> Alright, four more. This guy loved it. Gonzo said hard pass. Typos lit littered throughout the book. I wanted to like this book as I used to be a big Anthony fan before he delved into the racist cesspool. However, the book is highly unprofessional and littered with lazy typos starting from the opening paragraph. I was born in the city of Manhattan. Manhattan is a borough. The con content of this book is essentially rehashings of old ONA bits and it comes off as lazy and tired. And then this guy just put, this book stinks. This book is terrible. All right, so once again, another pussy. Why end the reviews? Like, I went through them. I, most of them were positive. So, who cares? So, um, 
those are some, just some of the reviews that they allowed because <laughs> they stopped allowing them. Uh, but it doesn't matter because the book was a failure. Fucking, I did a post earlier about that guy who called Barnes and Nobles, right? Well, he has another video on his shit where he actually calls out Joe Cumia. Joe Cumia, Anthony's brother, is claiming, no, there was 50 people there. Anthony sold 50 books. And the whole time I was thinking, first of all, that's bullshit. Second of all, you were downstairs losing a debate to Antifa ugly trans people. <laughs> like, what the you weren't even at the fucking thing. You were outside with your brilliance. Does speech make you racist? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a debacle, old trampa.